So there are, in fact, three regions within Armagnac. Uh, the most well known is in the west, or really kind of the northwest, uh, Bas Armagnac, Low Armagnac, uh, which is where most of the production, especially in the US, uh, comes from. <clears throat> but that's not all. Go a little ways east. In the center of Armagnac, you will find the Teneras region. Those are more rare, especially in the U.S., again, but they're out there. They're available. What you will have a hell of a time finding is stuff from Aut Armagnac, which is probably by landmass the largest region. It occupies the, the, the eastern side of Armagnac and also kind of wraps around the south. Uh, and so I've been hunting around for a, a hot Armagnac for a good long time just to just to try one, just to scratch that off my bucket list. And I finally got one. Here we go. La Flamme 2011 from Chateau Arton. This is one of maybe like two or three producers left. Uh, also, the shop uh, gave me the wrong box for this. This is the box for the 2013 and... The 11 doesn't quite fit in there, but you know what? I, I don't I don't care. Um, all right, so I, I want to try this and tell you all about it, uh, but I also want some competition for it. So why not have a sort of cross Armagnac head-to-head with the constant being the price? All three of these cost about 100 bucks a zoids. Um... So we're going to do the La Flamme. We're going to do a, uh, a Delord from Bas Armagnac. And we're going to do a Bella Ot from the Teneras. I'm going in sort of uh, uh, order of age, roughly. And in that respect, the uh, Arton is a little bit... Uh, in trouble because this okay it's a 2011 and this was bottled in March 2022 so it's it's roughly it's roughly tops 10 years old um, uh, wait tops 11 years old almost certainly actually 10 because because of the harvest and stuff uh, this is 100% Ugni Blanc uh, and it is bottled at 50.5% alcohol now, uh, Artan is describing La Flamme here as the Le Grand Secant, uh, which is the second, which is a term you will see more often in wine, particularly in Bordeaux. Uh, in Bordeaux, the second wine is, you know, it's kind of leftovers after you make the one that's supposed to get 100 points, right? So it's, it's still good stuff. It's still, you know, from the, from the estate, from the vineyards you actually own. It's just kind of, you know... The grapes that got the, the, the third or fourth pass, maybe from the regions that never quite show as well as the others, but still good stuff. Um, I don't know what, what the, the second in spirit terms means, but I'm still excited because this is an Aut Armagnac and ain't a lot out of, of those out there. All right, here we go. On the nose. Ooh, very, very sp spicy. Spicy meatball, this. Lots of black pepper, lots of cinnamon. But quite floral as well. There's there's kind of a field flower kind of note going on. And then the, the um, dried fruit kind of thing you expect from fairly fresh French oak, I would think. Um, figs, dried cherries in particular. Awesome tea. There's a little bit of a tobacco note in this as well. There's like a, um, like a black Cavendish kind of thing, so slightly sweeter tobacco. And there's still some like primary fruit going on. I'm getting some like stewed peach, um, maybe some almost, uh, almost like a Viognier melon kind of thing. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to say, like, there's a Viognier note in this. So a little bit of Quandru got uh, dumped in my uh, Chateau Arton here. It's nice. It, it's, a, it's a very fresh, good, solid young Armagnac. 
on the pallet. Beautiful balance on this. Um, again, very, I guess spicy is the word. Um, there's lots of other things, but the, the, the spice is kind of center of the stage. Cinnamon, clove, black pepper, um, touch of cardamom, not too much though. Over stewed tea, assam tea. Um, touch of grassiness actually, which I, I expect flowers more so in Armagnac, but, but here I'm getting just like, you know, fresh grass, which is nice and very fun. Uh, plum, not prune. I'm getting like, like sour plum a little bit. Figs, dried cherries, pipe tobacco again, but this time it's more like, like a Balkan blend. There's a little bit of like a, a smokiness to it. Mm -hmm. That stone fruit character, uh, peach, nectarine, orange peel. On the finish, there's a nice kind of herbaceousness, a little, little bit of uh, basil or something coming out. This is very, very solid. I, I'm, uh, I, I was a little bit scared when I, I didn't, you know, read the back of the label when I, when I bought this. And so was, when I saw second, I got a little bit scared because some of those second wines in Bordeaux can get a little bit rough, especially in some of the, the vintages where they see frost, often those, you know, very frost bitten grapes ended up, end up at the second wines. Not this though. Um, this is nice. I still think it's worth a hundred, uh, a hundo, but it's a really nice young Armagnac. So I'm going to give that a squirt of water and we'll come back to it. Like a squirt and a half, let's say. Is that enough? I'm going to call that good enough. Moving on to the Delord. <coughs> L'Authentique. This one uh, was bottled on, geez, it says here somewhere, May uh, 12th, 2016. Uh, apparently this is a continuing series of theirs, and it's, it's basically a, a blend of barrels of different ages. Uh, on the website, they, they call this uh, a 30-year average, which is, it does not say on the bottle, but it does not say an age at all on the bottle, but that's what it says on the website. Um, now, Delord is interesting. Uh, so I'll, I'll put the grape blend below. I don't know how consistent that is, but it's on the website again. Um, Delord is interesting. I, I don't really like their standard range all that much. I find it a hair bit... Um, a hair bit too thin, honestly. It's all it's all forty percent. Um, it's 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 pretty good. It's pretty solid value, especially in the American market. Um, but yeah, it's it wouldn't be my first choice. The vintages I used to really like, and then they knocked them all down to forty percent, like the rest of the range. But but if you if you uh, are watching carefully, you will see Delord put out special bottlings, uh, single barrels and stuff that are presented at cast strength. Or stuff like this, which is presented. I'm not sure if this is cast strength. I'm guessing not. Um, but it is 45.9, which is pretty darn good. Um, so let's get uh, let's get some notes on this. 2016 edition of Delord L'Authentique. Here we go. Ooh. Very coffee driven, actually. There's lots of uh, kind of s I'm going to call it South American coffee beans like Colombia, Brazil, that kind of stuff. Um, oh, but there's some fruit too. It's one of the nice things about, about uh, Delord is it's a more, I would say a more classical style of Armagnac. So they aren't pounding a ton of oak onto this stuff. Uh, um, they're usually re-racking into less active barrels after a while. So unlike say the Lencantata series, like it's not gonna pull your teeth out with tannins. Like this is much more this is at least there's a lot of oak here. Do not doubt that, but it's it's just as much about the flowers and the fruit. 
Say, I am getting canned peaches, dried flowers. Along with the coffee beans, there's some coffee cake here. So, like that cinnamony note. Raisins, dried apricots. A um, couple of figs, too. Black tea. Wait, no, 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 uh, not stewed tea. This is more like the tea leaves. So, like, so you're smelling black tea leaves. Like, not really rancios per se. I am getting some, like, old leather books. So, old leather plus, like, some old paper is at the same time, but nice. And something reminds me of, um, oh, what is the name of that, that, the walnut liqueur that has, like, that super, super dark color? Um, is it Nocino? So, something like that. Uh, this kind of has that kind of super dark walnut liqueur thing going on. More stone, for, almost like a dried nectarine. I don't know if there isn't such a thing as dried nectarine, but if there is, that would be a note on this. Even and a little spritz of lime in there. It's it's for for something that's supposed to be, you know, thirty years old on average. This is quite fresh. I, I'm wondering if they threw like a ten year old cask in there just just to keep, kind of keep keep those fresh uh, fruity notes in there. Anyways, this this works nicely. Let's see what happens on the palate. And that's where the advantage of age kind of comes in. I really like this, this Sarton. Um, this just has a lot more grip and grit uh, on the mouthfeel. It tastes kind of like throat lozenges in, in a good way. Um, coffee beans again, raisins, dried apricots. A lot of dried fruit, figs some just like cacao going on, raw cacao. Tea leaves again, peaches, fair bit of vanilla actually. I'm not, I don't think there's American oak on this. Actually, I think that would be illegal. Um, but there's a little bit of vanilla creeping in. Um, cinnamon, like coffee cake again, black pepper, definitely. It's interesting. This is where I think the uh, blend of younger and older stocks can work really well. Like this is, the finish is, has a lot of substance. Again, it's got grip. Like the the the, the sort of overstewed tea tannins are there. Um, that kind of like uh, overstewed coffee thing is there. But it's it's still a relatively easygoing finish, and the entire affair just still feels pretty fresh. Um, I don't know if there's such a thing as a session Armagnac, but this could this could do it pretty well. Like it's got more going on than the standard range by lots, but um, but it's not you know fighting me. It's not you know making my mouth hurt like uh, some of the more oaky Armagnacs can do. Yeah, I like this. Um, okay, I'm gonna give this a squirt of water. It's also kind of nutty. It's got that that same no, no sino no whatever it is, the the almond liqueur stuff um, or walnut um, not almond uh, walnut walnut liqueur thing. Bear with me. Um, all right, so that's. That's actually really nice. I, <laughs> I was expecting that to be good. I think that's that's exceeding expectations a little bit. Um, usually, the Lord's top out around you know 86, 80, 87 points for me. I might have to put that higher. All right, uh, but now we're moving on to the the, the Teneras with Pelahot, which I've tried in the past. Um, these were oak bombs when I tried them in the past. At least the old one was, and this one was distilled in. 1982, which is a birth. So this is a birth year yak for me. I actually considered having this in my um, uh, my 40th birthday video from last year. It, it wasn't quite good enough for that, so it, it got bumped to this. Um, but yeah, so 
Uh, distilled 82, bottled 2021, aged in oak for 39 years. 48% alcohol by volume, which is a hair bit stronger than the, than the, um, that Delord was. All right, here we go. Uh, this is also marked as an Oogly Blanc, uh, just like the Lef the Laflamme, actually. So let's let's get stuck into this. Here we go. Wood, wood. It, it yeah. This just smells like someone just massacred a ton of. Victorian furniture and like old books. Um, it just smells like old wood, old leather, old paper, varnish. And I love it. Like I, I as much as I champion things that have a kind of freshness to them uh, that stay close to the distillate, I, I can't help but loving this oak overlord, uh, overload thing that's going on. Cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks for for days um blackberries blueberries some dates um dried dates field flowers over stewed tea like a darjeeling this time maybe like a strip of i don't want to say orange. it's more like a like a, a bergamot a strip of bergamot peel because it's got a little bit of herbaceousness going on. Um, this absolutely smells monolithic. It smells like, you know, a lot like wood, but it's it's really, really nice wood. Um, the flowers and, and, and is still there. So it's, there's still that little bit of balance. Uh, let's see what happens in the palate. I'm expecting to have to pull splinters out of my teeth. Let's see what happens. Ooh. That's got a little something. Okay, so tons of wood, as expected. But on the finish, this shows me a couple of fun things. There's this kind of gorgeous streak of, like, orange and blueberry on the finish that just comes out of nowhere. Um, so imagine you're, you're adrift in a sea made of wood, and all of a sudden, like, out of the sky drops a pie made of, like, orange and blueberry. That's kind of what this tastes like. Yeah. Lots and lots of wood, old furniture, books, leather. Um... Latte uh, that's kind of been where the milk was a little bit overboiled. Um, that kind of like burned milk thing with coffee. Black pepper, cinnamon sticks. Um, all the cinnamon. Uh, clove. Flowers, herbs, basil. Mint. Um, There's actually, despite the wood, there's still a, a fair bit of like floral stuff going on with this. Um, actually, a fair bit. This is kind of righteous, actually. Like, uh, I, I, again, I was expecting a wood bomb, but this is not that. This is, I can't really call it fresh, but there's the, the, the peaks of fruit and flowers on this are just kind of punching the worth the way through the wood is just so beautiful I, this we may have a winner here I'm gonna add water to this we're gonna do a second round but as far as I'm concerned this is winning this so far it's annoying because it's the oldest thing here um, but yeah that's that's kind of where I'm at mmm Oh man, that the 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 flowers and the the kind of aromatic herbs and the the orange. Oh, I just I just love this. Um, and that is the magic of tertiary notes and spirit. When things get weird, uh, 
that's when it can be fun. We're good. Okay. Let's go through this again. Starting with the uh, La Flamme 2011 from Marton. One more time. I don't know why I just showed you the bottle. You already saw it. Here we go. On the nose with water, the orange comes out. A lot of orange along with some raspberry and a little bit of... Um, Anytime I, I feel like I'm getting pear, but it isn't quite pear, I'm going to say quince. That's kind of what I'm, yeah, it's, it's, it's orange, raspberry, and quince that comes out. There's some cardamom happening too now, but it's really, it really just for like fruities up is what happens when you add water to this. Which I am very happy about. I like having fruit in my, in my brandy. On the palate. So on the, when I first tried this, the finish and stuff felt fine. It hasn't gotten worse with water. It's just now, I've, with the context of these two, I'm noticing the finish doesn't hang on for very long and it doesn't push very far back in my mouth. And that's kind of hurting that this in, the, in this context. Um, as far as development, it's kind of the same story. There's more fruit now. There's more kind of a n more nectarine, quince. A little Virginia tobacco peeking through along with the uh, uh, the Black Cavendish. Um, coffee in this as well, but it's more like Kenya, uh, Kenya AA. Um, like so very bright acid driven coffee than, you know, South American stuff. So again, it's it's a really, really good young Armagnac. I like the spiciness of this. I like the freshness. It's not gonna, unless these two fall off after water, it's not gonna win this comparison. It's just, it needs some more time to kind of grow and develop um, further layers for, for the complexity. I'm still gonna give it 86 plus out of 100. I, I like this. And, you know, if you were like me, if you were total... Armagnac nerd and you need to, to scratch Armagnac off your bucket list, this is a great bottle to grab. It is not a waste of your money. It's rather nice. Uh, it's just not going to win this comparison. 86 plus uh, for the Arton La Flamme 2011. Moving on to the Delord. L'Authentique again. By the way, Delord has the most annoying wax in the business, so far as I... No, uh, that's not entirely true. I just got um, a Nussbaumer um, uh, via, via Prune, which has worse wax than this. But this is the worst I've ever seen in Armagnac. You, you basically... Um, it is... Even using the technique where you're heating up a knife to kind of cut through the seal, it just t makes a big mess. It takes forever. Um, I have seen the alternative bonk method work well on this, which is where you just like set a trash can down in the, in the blast zone. You bonk it a couple of times against the cabinet just to get it to shatter and you use a knife to kind of finish the job. Um, but anyways, got awful wax on most of the Delord products I've seen. Be aware, you're going to have to fight it. That's, a, that's price of, part of the price of just buying a bottle from them. I'm sorry. Uh, rant over. Back to this uh, L'Authentique. Ooh, there's, it's, it's gotten like suddenly lemony on me, which I wasn't expecting. Yeah, there's like a lemon bars thing coming out now. Kind of mingling with the floral notes from before. Yeah, so it's really, I'm, I'm eating a nice lemon bar with some flowers on the side. 
Uh, and I'm also having a cup of coffee and then like some raisins and nuts and things. That's kind of what this smells like. And it works. It's it's It smells really nice. On the palate. Heck yeah. Um, ooh. Nice grip. I really like the grip. The finish is just so much better on this versus the um, Artan. Even if it loses a little bit of that fresh freshness, man, the, I, uh, I love the grippiness on the finish. Um, yeah, lots of coffee, coffee galore, plus orange and lemon lime. Um, And yeah, the, the, with water, the finish is actually more grippy now. Lots of basil, lots of tea tannins. But again, relative to other older Armagnacs, this is still relatively easy going. Like it's, it's, uh, it's big, it has heft, it has weight, but it's still very kind of elegant and, and friendly. Um, you could pour this for normals and they probably wouldn't complain too much. God help you, you could probably pour this for bourbon people. And I like, and the, the other nice thing about this is this gets distribution, right? Like, um, uh, the Pella, the, 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 the Arton, forget about it. Like, this is a pain in the ass to get. The, the Pella Hot, this is around in Chicago, but it's distributed by the, um, well, I don't know who's, who's, who distributes it, but it's, um, it's part of the Charles Neal selection, which is just now starting to get around. So it's, not as much a pain of a pain in the butt to get, but still a pain in the butt. Delord gets everywhere. Like if uh, the 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 Heavenly Spirits portfolio gets a ton of distribution in a ton of different states. So if there's any one of these three you can grab, it's this one. Um, so it kind of makes me really happy that it's good. I'm gonna give this 88 points. Eighty-eight points out of a hundred. Goodbye if you're looking for serious armagnac and your options are um, a hair bit, you know, basically limited to the to the, uh, the heavenly spirits portfolio, and um, just a good way to get into the category. Like I don't think this is gonna gonna scare a whole lot of people off. It's just it's really approachable. All right, eighty-eight points. And let's see what happened. What happened to my birth year, Pella Ott year? Um, on the nose. Ooh. So yeah, it was woody before, but the even more wood comes out with with water. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. The wood is more like earthy and grungy, and it's like wood covered in mud. It's even a little bit like campfirey, or not not campfirey. It's like like the leftovers after a campfire. You know what I'm talking about? Like you had a big bonfire and you come back the day after and you kind of smell the ashes. It, that's kind of what I'm getting here. I wouldn't say it's an improvement on the nose with water. It's just it's just a little different. Let's see what happens in the palate. To my surprise, not a whole lot of change with what I was. I, what I was dreading is is that the 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 wood monster would come out and rip my head off. That hasn't happened, but not a whole lot has happened. It's it's still absolutely delicious. It's still bringing in that orangey blueberry thing that that I absolutely adore in the context of this storm of oak. God, the finish is good. Um, I'm flirting with 90 on this. And I don't think I can get there. I don't think it's quite there. And it breaks my heart. I'm going to give this an 89 out of 100. But darn, I want to I, I get it there. 
I want to get it there and I just can't justify it. It's, it's absolutely delicious. Um, it's actually, this might actually be more crushable than the other two. And these two are pretty darn crushable. Um, but in terms of absolute quality, I can't quite push it over the 90 mark. So 89 points. And there we are. Uh, 86 plus for the Artone, 88 for the Delord, 89 for the Pillow Oat. Um, these two are available in the Chicago area. Um, and if you see them, I think they're worth grabbing. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, I've now tried an Oat Armagnac and I can die happy. Bye.